What's going on guys? Noah back again with Freedom Roamers. Today we're back doing a build walk around of my 2019 Tacoma. Just uh, basically going through where it sits, kind of parts that I'm running right now. Uh, probably ramble on a little bit about what I'm going to hopefully update to or what I'm looking at, that kind of stuff. So nothing crazy. It's still got a lot of work to be done. That being said, it is super capable and I like where it's at right now. I haven't had any problems with it. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so this is a walk around. We're gonna start up here at the front and move our way back just to keep my brain straight because I'll start to squirrel and forget about stuff or not talk about something. So just up here in the front, this is my 2019 Tacoma. I bought it a year ago. It had like 86,000 miles on it. It was on 33 BFG KO2s. Um, and then it had the racks, the Prinsu racks as well as the shell, that rack, the light bar, um, and then some of the suspension parts that are on it right now. Other than that, everything else is stuff that I've added to it as far as like the tent, um, the awning that's on the other side, these 35s, stuff, some stuff in the back, the fog lights. So we'll just start up here at the front. Uh, we'll start with the fog lights. So these are the Heretic Designs studios i don't remember exactly what model they are but these are the the tacoma specific fog light so it's got like a nice um fitting around right here that helps keeps everything flush looking and then it just has some direct mount uh wiring harnesses and stuff like that we are running the trd pro grill uh with the lights up there i like that i think it looks good i think all the toyota should come with it I don't know why anybody thinks the big, shiny, giant Toyota logo in the front, the stock grills is good looking, but to each their own. Everybody's got their personal preferences. Uh, we are just running some cheap uh, shackles down here from Amazon. I do like them just because it gives you a, a solid hookup if you have to tow or anything. And these ones do have a nut with a cotter pin through them so they can't come off. I did lose the other set. These ones are brand new. So I lost the last set one of them on that very first video when I was camping in Leeds. Uh, into the suspension, nothing crazy. Running the, the TerraFlex Falcon shocks. These ones are just um, non-adjustable, but they're definitely a big upgrade compared to the, the stock shocks for sure. I like them quite a bit. And then we'll get into the ones in the rear. We are running the Yokohama geolander these are a true 35 um 35 12 50 with a 17 inch rim i like these quite a bit i just barely put these on here so it did require a lot of trimming you can see that um it's still a work in progress to kind of keep the trimming to a minimal amount but not um try to keep it at least somewhat stock looking Eventually, I would like to get some upper and lower control arms. I said that backwards. Upper and lower control arms. I'm um, looking at like the Total Chaos Fab um, set, but those are pretty spendy. So eventually, we'll get to it. I am still running the, the stock sway bar in here. And I'll talk about that in another video. And the stock skids are just the front skid and then kind of like the middle skid that they've got on there. So... Still got the stock headlights, not running anything crazy underneath the hood. I'm running the Prinsu rack with, I think this is over here, sorry, a Cali raised LED light bar, and it's the, the combo. So you can see it kind of up there. It's got the spot in the middle and then the flood out on the sides. I like that a lot. Um, nothing crazy as far as side. Still looking to get a set of skit or a, Rock sliders, I haven't found any that I've been crazy about. And with how expensive those are, I'm not gonna get them until I for sure know that I'm gonna like them. As far as having kind of like a combo step, but still keeping them tucked up in the side and stuff. So same in the back, you can see we've got, it's definitely not a mall crawler. Do got some gnarly rock rash on all of the rims. That back right one passenger side is definitely the worst. So back here, we're running the same Terraflex, if I could talk, 
Falcon shocks. These ones are adjustable. They're just a quick adjust, so you don't have like any rebound, like uh, custom setting rebound and stuff like that. That being said, I keep them on this two, which is uh, kind of like the intermediate weight tow haul setting. And then if I have all my stuff in there, uh, and usually I'll take like my dad's razor or anything on a trailer or anything like that, I'll click it up to the three, um, just to stiffen it up a little bit. That you can probably see this nice little red hose and that is to my airbags so you can see the nozzle up there and then you can see the airbags so these are they're not fire stones but they're the same thing as fire stones for like half the price they are sitting in the daystar cradles though so that way when the suspension drops out of there or the axle drops away on one side or all the way down you're not ripping your airbag apart this is probably my favorite mod that I've done so far. Get you a little bit of a view from the back, maybe. Uh, I like these a lot. They really help with, um, you know, evening out the load because we are running a fridge and stuff in the back and then we got the awning up there. So when everything's loaded in there, it really kind of tends to get that Tacoma lean because the gas tank is on that driver's side and then you got the awning up here. So it definitely pulls down to that left side quite a bit. So the airbags are, are a pretty big upgrade. I do have um, some icon parts on here, which I like. They're just, a, it's just the progressive leaf pack. So it's an inch and a half lift. Um, and then with the airbags, I add about a half an inch to level everything out and get it to sit like I want it to. So I like it quite a bit. It is uh, the overall lift and the tire size and stuff like that. We are running a CVT tent. This is a Mount Shasta. I'm pretty sure I bought it used. I got it for like 900 bucks, I wanna say. And they're usually quite a bit, like at least double that. And I do have the annex and stuff for it. The annex is nice. I just don't use it all that often. Um, I would love to get something like an iCamper SkyCamp Mini to go up here just because the take down time and everything like that is a lot quicker and i like to go camping in the winter still and if you've ever taken one of these covers off uh <laughs> in the winter time you know that they get really stiff especially like overnight if you get any kind of snow or anything like that and they're really hard to put back on so we'll go into the tailgate here nothing crazy i do have the the pop and lock tailgate lock in there you can hear it because it's super loud. I don't know why to Toyota doesn't include those from the factory, but they don't. So I installed it myself, super easy. Maybe we'll do a walkthrough of that one day and I'll open everything back up. So yeah, the all important overlanding stroller for the kids, you know. We got the Iceco VL45 on Iceco slide. I'll pull it all the way out here. So this is one of the more uh, recent upgrades. You can see it's got a lot of room in there. Uh, I love this. Switching from a cooler <laughs> to a fridge is a must in my opinion. I don't know why anybody runs ice coolers anymore. I mean, I get it's a, it's, it can be cost prohibitive, but it's, it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth the upgrade. So. And this, uh, this is just a sportsman's Plano trunk. I keep uh, kind of like an emergency bag in there with socks and stuff like that and extra jacket and some fire starter stuff and paracord and, you know, all the, the, the prepper stuff. So and I do have some traction boards up here. These are just a brand off of Amazon. I don't use those very often. I mean, let's be honest, most people just use them to level it out, which is fine. Um, and then just an Ace Hardware shovel. It's always gotten the job done. And then I do keep a tool roll up there. I don't know if you can see it. See it. It's in a Rhino USA uh, bag that I got off Amazon. I really have had some good luck with the Rhino USA stuff. It's like a small company out of California, if I remember right. So. the driver's side so again we're rocking the <clears throat> the falcon shocks and then the air nipple over here 
is in just a little stock hole that's in the, the frame of the Tacomas. So pretty nice, good setup. Um, we are running the OVS 270 awning. Oh, let's see if we can focus. The OVS 270 awning. I just got that as well about the same time that I got the fridge and that is a massive, massive upgrade. Just to be able to pop it out, you know, it unzips, you can set it up in like a minute and a half, I think. You got in instant shade is super, super nice. So that's pretty much the outside besides up here. We've got another set of traction boards. Those are the ones that I pull off the most. Uh, again, just another Amazon brand. I've had good luck with them. I don't use them enough to justify spending, you know, $300 on a set of max tracks, but maybe eventually if I've got $300 and everything else in the truck that I want. Uh, this is just a, a Boyd case, which is actually a gun case, but it's all weatherproof and sealed and everything like that. And I just keep, you know, two toe straps some soft shackles, uh, my hammer for tent stakes, stuff like that, some emergency I got like fix a flat in there as well as some tire plugs, like a tire repair kit. Uh, I think there's an ax up there and then another hard metal shackle, which is pretty nice. So that's pretty much it guys for the outside. It's nothing crazy. Like I said, I would like to, to get some upper lower control arms, uh, probably some Dobinson leafs in the back just because they've got really good customer service and I've heard nothing but good things about from the, from people about Dobinson. Um, yeah, I like it quite a bit. We'll jump here in the inside. All right, guys, so this is from the passenger side. Don't mind my cleaning stuff. Yes, I do clean my truck because I like a clean truck. Um, nothing crazy going on in here. Just pretty basic Amazon phone mount. Um, some Midland radios. I do have the Tacoma Beast LED kit through there, which you can see, which is pretty nice. And then, of course, the obligatory patch collection on the roof so nothing crazy in here um i would like to eventually get like a 67 designs mount for up here to mount the ipad for onyx and whatnot it is this is a 2019 so you don't get the the apple carplay in here which is super annoying um but it is what it is which is why the phone just mounts down there and lets me use everything at least somewhat conveniently i do really like the 67 designs mount so that'll probably be the next kind of budgetary upgrade that we get again nothing crazy in the back i do have two kids so this bag that's back here has just got some some random random stuff multi-tool stuff like that and then car seat another car seat on this side so other than that guys it's it's nothing crazy i do have um i'm trying to remember the name of the company that it's a sub it's a 10 inch sub that mounts behind this back driver's seat into the kind of like the storage space and then down here you can see it's just the the base adjuster and it looks pretty I mean pretty stock really so I like it quite a bit but alrighty guys one thing I did forget to talk about is my ARE shell so I don't remember the model of it I got it on the truck I remember looking it up and, and finding it, but it's just an ARE shell. Um, it's got the single lock right here, which I really like. Makes it easy to open up one-handed. Um, I do wish that these windows opened up on like a hinge in the back, you know, so that when you're on like this side, you had like a, a lock up here or something that you could twist and then pop it out. Um, because you can't open those windows from the outside, which is again, it's nice, but it's kind of a pain in the butt at the same time. So I do really like the shell. A lot of people run like the cab bars or like a diamond back or anything like that. Um, which again, it's just personal preference. I like the shell because it keeps everything waterproof in there. Uh, I can lock it. You know, it's obviously not as secure as like a diamond back, um, but it's definitely more secure than just running like bed bars with your tent on top of it. And then on top of that, you know, it keeps all the dust, weatherproof, waterproof, dustproof, all that stuff off of your gear back there, which is pretty nice. So. All righty guys. So that was it. Uh, we do got a lot of, a lot of changes, hopefully like a twin air, ARB air compressor, uh, you know, with like an end deflate, stuff like that. Probably some rock sliders will be the next upgrade. The big upgrade after that, just because when we went to Moab, that was 
one of the things that I definitely had to keep my eye on. That being said, I don't think, I think that was probably just me being a little bit more paranoid than I needed to be, but better safe than sorry. So, alrighty guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.